My name is uh, Rolf Atle Thomasen. I'm the managing director of uh, Syncolift. I would like to show you some of the solutions that we have uh, for our uh, shipyard customers. All, all the products uh, and solutions here are marked in uh, turquoise, uh, are provided by Syncolift. Uh, it's, it's, uh, if we split it in uh, categories, it's basically solutions for moving ships uh, onto land and off land. Uh, it's uh, different transfer systems which are moving the ships uh, around on the land. Uh, and it's uh, finally what we call fast docking uh, products which are making the repair itself uh, faster. Uh, if we start with uh, our main product, the ship lift, uh, you can see that uh, uh, we, by using uh, winches, uh, we can lift a platform which again is having uh, ships on, on top of it. Uh, we have transfer systems which are moving the ships from uh, the platform and onto land. Um, we uh, also have what we call a wedged slipway. Uh, this wedged slipway makes sure that you can uh, uh, move vessels not only on the slipway itself, but onto land so that you can service uh, multiple vessels. Uh, we have floating docks or uh, floating transfer docks, as we call them which basically is a traditional floating dock, but it has been uh, redesigned to move vessels from the floating dock itself and onto land. Uh, finally, we have a, what we call a uh, dock lift, uh, which uh, more has to do with efficient building of ships. Um, as we all know, the, the bigger blocks we can build, uh, the, the shorter time you will be using in the graving dock, which typically is the uh, bottleneck uh, in a shipyard. So, so what we do with a dock lift is that we can take blocks of uh, uh, everything from 500 ton to uh, three, four, five thousand ton and, and move them from a indoors building and onto this uh, uh, dock lift, and then it's being lowered into the uh, graving dock. The advantage with this, as I said, efficiency, productivity, and you don't need a crane, which uh, is more expensive to, uh, to uh, be using. If we look at uh, the, the different transfer systems, it's uh, basically either moving ships by rails, which then means it's a XY. You move longitudinally and you can move uh, uh, transversely. Um, the advantage with a rail transfer system is that you, you can uh, quite cost efficiently move uh, big ships around the shipyard. It has a uh, uh, certain disadvantage when it comes to the flexibility, i.e. flexibility of being able to move ships into uh, any location in the shipyard. With a rail transfer, you can only move to predefined uh, uh, dry berths, whereas with a so-called <clears throat> flex trolley, you can move uh, ships anywhere on land. And then uh, finally, looking at some of the fast docking products that we have, uh, where the intention is to shorten the time on land, but also to utilize assets in a better way, meaning the turnaround time for a floating dock or the turning around time for a graving dock is uh, shorter by using Syncolift uh, fast docking uh, tools 
or uh, products. Um, here is an example of, of using uh, side support arms, which basically means that you don't have to block anything uh, in, in the dock. So you are saving all the man hours for doing a particular blocking for a particular vessel. Uh, here you simply use the arms to, to stabilize the vessel and uh, you can start service immediately. Uh, here we have an example of a propeller puller, uh, which uh, is uh, used to extract uh, propellers. Uh, so we have many of these solutions called fast docking, uh, which, which is used to, to uh, improve efficiency uh, on land, to improve the service repair uh, efficiency. So that uh, is a um, short overview of, uh, of all the products that we uh, can offer to a shipyard, ship repair yard, navy yard or uh, yacht yard. Thank you.